YouTube, Niner Empire, what is going down? Welcome back to another video. So the 49ers have made um, a pair of moves um, in the past 48 hours. Quite actually a lot um, has been done by the 49ers uh, within the past couple of days. And I'm just going to start off uh, with Charver Charvarius Ward. Charvarius Ward signed a three-year deal worth up to $42 million with the 49ers um, yesterday. It was like yesterday morning, early in the morning. It was like 12 a.m. when the news broke. Um, look, Charvarius Ward, I do like the signing. I knew the 49ers were in on Charvarius Ward before free agency. It was reported a while back the 49ers were heavily interested in him, and it was going to be a name to keep an eye out on uh, during the free agency. Um, here's the thing. Yeah, the 49ers didn't get J.C. Jackson, but the 49ers were also not going to pay J.C. Jackson anywhere near what he got from the Chargers. And the biggest thing with J.C. Jackson and why he left New England was that he was going to, you know, he was he was wanting to get paid. New England didn't want to pay him the money. San Francisco was definitely not going to be able to pay him the money. Um, so with all the talk with J.C. Jackson possibly interested in the 49ers, yeah, he probably had interest. He probably had interest in playing for a winning team, a team that could contend for a Super Bowl. But at the at the same token, the 49ers were not going to pay him that as, as much money as what the Chargers did. Um, great signing by the Chargers. They have the money, but that was never in the 49ers' plan. So they knew, you know, going in, Stephon Gilmore's probably going to want to get paid, right? J.C. Jackson wants to get paid. The next best option for the Niners was going to be Charvarius Ward. And to be completely honest, he's a great corner. He's no, by he's by no means any type of ball hawk. Uh, Charvarius Ward really excels when it comes to, you know, being physical. Um, he's got very, very good height. He's a little bit bigger than Emmanuel Mosley. Uh, physical guy, can tackle, um, has a really high vertical. He made some very good interceptions when he was during his time with uh, Kansas City. Um, so look, he's a big physical corner, a very tall corner, can match up with, you know, them tall receivers throughout the league. So for that, I think the signing is great. The 49ers obviously had to address the biggest need going into the offseason, which was cornerback, and that's exactly what they did. So by no means is Charvarius Ward any type of superstar NFL cornerback, but he's good corner, he's an NFL starter, he's starter-worthy, and the 49ers got him on a decent sized deal. I don't think they overpaid him by any means. I think what the 49ers gave him was probably right around exactly what he was worth. And um, I'm glad they got the deal done. Welcome to the team, Traverius Ward. I mean, every 49ers fan should be happy. Just because we didn't get J.C. Jackson or Stephon Gilmore, that does not mean shit. We would be down tremendously had we paid J.C. Jackson or Stephon Gilmore the type of money that they're probably looking for. So, to get Charvarius Ward, the guy's 25 years old. You know, he's still in his prime, probably hasn't even really hit his prime yet. Um, so for that, you have to like the move by the 49ers. And I think signing, if I had to grade the signing, I would definitely probably say a B-plus signing. Um, they address one of the biggest needs on the team, if not the biggest need on the team. In my opinion, corner was the biggest need. Um, so they addressed that. They got a really good uh, starting caliber corner. And we're not going to have to worry about Josh Norman and Dante Johnson and Ambry Thomas switching off week in and week out, um, you know, at, at the starting corner position aside from Emmanuel Mosley. So great signing by the 49ers for that. I like it. Um, now I want to get into the DJ Jones signing by the Denver Broncos. The Denver Broncos have been very, very active in free agency, trading for Russell Wilson, signing, um, um, Randy Gregory signing DJ Jones. I mean, the Denver Broncos are going to be a powerhouse next season, and they're going to be right there with Kansas City and the Chargers and the Raiders fighting for that number one spot in the division. To be completely honest, I think when it's all said and done, the Denver Broncos will be a much better team than the Raiders. They're probably even going to be better than the uh, the Raiders. Um, so, um, or I think I said Raiders twice. They're probably going to be better than the Raiders and you know, the Chargers. So Denver gives DJ Jones, 49ers defensive tackle, a three-year deal worth $30 million. DJ Jones is getting paid over a little, a little bit over $10 million annually. Um, look, I can only be happy for DJ Jones, even though he was one of the guys I really, really wanted the 49ers to prioritize and sign and re-sign and bring him back. 
when when you are that when you when you're coming off that good of a season, when you're being consistently good, when you're staying healthy, you're going to get paid. And that's exactly what happened with DJ Jones. You know, the 49ers are not really sitting pretty in cap. Um, you know, considering they still have Jimmy G on the roster, uh, they did free up around 18 million today in cap money, restructuring a couple of deals. Uh, that's going to be another video I'm going to get into. But either way, DJ Jones uh, to Denver, it sucks because DJ Jones is one of those players that has been on the 49ers for quite some time now. Um, he's a very, very um, consistent, you know, uh, starter. He wrecks havoc on quarterbacks, and, you know, he's definitely going to be missed in San Francisco. Um, and really what that tells me is the 49ers are betting really, really high on Javon Kinlaw to come back and be healthy and be ready to go. Um, Javon Kinlaw has dealt with injuries. He's had surgeries. So with DJ Jones departing and going to Denver on that three-year deal worth $30 million, D, you know, Javon Kinlaw, um, you know, and um, – a lot of those, uh, Javon Kinlaw, Arden Key, I mean, all these guys are going to have to step up big time. Um, um, so bottom line is, is, you know, DJ Jones is going to be missed, but I'm so happy that he got paid, you know, what he did. I mean, he was nothing but deserving of that contract. And like I said, yeah, it sucks that, you know, he's not going to be around no more and, you know, um, wrecking havoc on quarterbacks and whatnot. Denver got a really good defensive tackle, and they needed one because – in the Russell Wilson deal, you know, they had to give up Shelby Harris, who was a very solid defensive tackle. So Denver instantly goes out, looks at DJ Jones, offers him a three-year deal worth $30 million. DJ Jones gets paid, and the 49ers now are betting highly on Javon Kinlaw. Now, look, if Javon Kinlaw can come back and be a, cow, or, you know, a very, very consistent starter, um, making plays and whatnot, I think the 49ers are going to be fine, right? But they're betting highly on Javon Kinlaw. And um, you know, the only thing our 49ers fans can do is just hope that Ken Law can stay healthy. Um, because if he don't, you know, there's going to be a void there. Um, so DJ Jones to Denver on a three-year, $30 million deal. It sucks, but look, I'm happy for the guy. Um, you know, he's been nothing short of a, you know, consistent, you know, um, playmaking guy. And, um, yeah, happy for him. It sucks, but, you know, it is what it is. The 49ers have to... They have other players like Javon Kinlaw that are going to have to fill his void. And, um, you know, yeah, we'll see what happens from there on out. But that one definitely blows for sure. Now going into the next thing I want to talk about, D. Ford. It was expected from numerous amount of reports just two weeks ago that the 49ers were expected to release him in the offseason and move on from D. Ford. Now yesterday, the 49ers decide to restructured D Ford's contract to save roughly 4.96 million in cap. Um, and it looks, you know, it looks as if they're going to keep D Ford. They, they believe that D Ford when he's healthy is a very, very great player. He, you know, he makes our defense better and that's completely true. But before you talk about talent, you have to talk about availability. And that's been D Ford's biggest issue is being able to play and be available for the 49ers. And that really just hasn't happened um, since the 49ers signed him to that mega deal. So this is the second time the 49ers have restructured D Ford's contract. You know, back in 2018, he signed for five years on the on 80 plus million dollar deal. Didn't live up to the hype. So that what the 49ers did is they restructured his contract to a two year, $24 million deal last season. He didn't even live up to that because he didn't play. He wasn't available. So the 49ers are going to restructure his deal for the second time in a row. Uh, and back-to-back -back seasons to save $4.96 million in cap. It had to be done. D. Ford has really not been the type of player that the 49ers hoped him to be. And it's really not even about his talent because when he's playing and when he's healthy, like I said, he makes the 49ers defense a much better defense. But before you get to talent, you got to talk about availability, and D. Ford has not been available for the 49ers um, you know, at all, really. I mean, he hasn't even played a full season with the Niners yet. He'll be going in you know, to his, to what, his fourth year on the 49ers, fourth or fifth year. So hopefully, you know, with us restructuring his contract, hopefully D Ford can take it easy, you know, in the off season, get ready for the season and stay healthy. Um, but we'll see what happens with that. But yeah, a lot of stuff happened. There's more stuff I want to talk about, but I just decided to put, you know, all these moves and talk about all these moves in just one video. So 
Let me know what you guys think of the Tarverius Ward signing, DJ Jones' departure, and D Ford's contract restructure. Um, and with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, go Niners.